Hey gang, do you hear that? That's the sounds of beer tube rising from the grave because the tastemakers That's us! Right? Of the beer community. That's us. Right. Well, unofficial tastemakers. Okay, okay, that's fine. Self-appointed tastemakers. Done. Uh we're taste making this shiny can. Don't worry. FLX beer reviews. Damn, like, yep. It's a wildcard Wednesday. Yeah! All right, this is where we take a mystery beer from a viewer of the channel, or a friend, or Former whoever, viewer. anyone. Possible new viewer. I don't care who walks up to us. If it's a can, I don't know what it is, I'll take it. We'll take cans um, from strangers these days. So this comes matter. from the other half of the FLF. Other half, I my, love them. My, my wonderful, my heart, my rock, my everything. You, you make love that brewery. Um, oh, not the brewery, yeah. My, my, my spouse, Mike. My bad. Yeah, right. uh, yeah so okay. we... She did a little challenge for us, picked up a few uh, mystery beers for us because we wanted to do some Wild Card Wednesday yeah. content and it's dried up and we need the 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 flowing rivers of mystery to just smack us right It's true. We need to challenge ourselves. Like, we need to get our palates yeah. aligned. Uh, oh, I am excited. Uh, We've yeah. already done a couple and it has been legit. What the heck? That? Okay. okay, so it looks like an IPA, but yeah, but it, I don't know, there's something There is different. a lot of there's shit There's something there. different. The bubbles are a slow, the bubbles are a little slow to rise, if you know what I'm saying. Um, there is a lot of suspended stuff See, in See, I think, hold on, uh, we know what we gotta do, we're gonna do this, because I feel like, uh, things are about to happen. Okay. Uh, it's suspension, it is, it's... It's Stallone and Wesley Snipes and, you know, Crow Frozen and... The Demolition yeah. of Men. Okay, so I think, I think yeah, we have to kind of do this. Um, because uh, you got all the suspenders. Yeah, I think I got all the suspenders. And I had no suspenders. Yeah, he needs some suspenders. Um, gotta keep these pants <clears throat> on his belly. So... <laughs> it's off the rails already. Uh, it's... It... Hmm... It looks like a, a jam, like a peach mm -hmm. apricot jam. It looks from, super From afar, thick. if I walked in, I said, oh, you got a... An oxidized IPA. DQ, absolutely. Yeah, it looks like a slightly oxidized IPA. Yeah. But, right off the bat, I think this is going to be some heavily fruited sour. Or yeah. something... Or it's just... Uh, it's like Hot Butcher, where it's just globs of just like... Right. Just yeast and right. hop residue. Let's get a whiff. I'm not getting much. It's a little subdued, but it's very subdued for me. Hold on, let me smell it. No, there's nothing. All right, there is. Uh... Okay, you go ahead. Okay, so I I'm definitely getting some like real overripe, like cantaloupe melon, a uh, little citrus in there. That's so strange. I'm getting like not a lot. Maybe a touch of pineapple. Little dirtiness to it, but here, smell mine. It smell the same? It's starting to open up a little okay. bit. Yeah, it's citrusy. It's tropical citrus. But man, it's got to be like a heavily. All oh, that shit in there. Let's dive in. Cheers. I wonder if they can hear the fan. I think I left the fan and mm. whizzing in the background. Going to bother the production, Dan. See, you know what? You know why I couldn't smell it? Because I'm not the set maker. I'm only the taste maker. That's true. I'm not really sure what all the responsibilities of a taste maker are these days, so. Oh. It's good. It's not a fruit and sour. Mm -mm. There's a really nice. Uh, I think it just might be an old IPA. Yeah, um, because there's a really nice dry bitterness to it, a little grassy. It's still, uh, the flavors are popping more than the nose was. It's citrusy. I'm still getting all the pineapple, uh, orange, orange pith, um, melon. I feel like there's got to be citrus in there, but I, maybe it's just old. If it's old, it's still drinking very fantastic. It is. Um, there is a, there's a very wheaty presence with this one. Okay. I'm getting a lot of. Weedy, kind of a uh, bready kind of malt okay. character. Um, oh, bubble gum in there, too. Yeah, but it's just like, I'm in the middle of the field with that wheat. Um, oh, man. What was that? 
the wintergreen? There's a little minty aspect mm -hmm. thing in there. Yeah, there is. I'm not the only one. Like, there's a little mint in there. No, not you to say it. Okay. It's almost like a rye spice kind Ooh. of thing. Okay. Mm. Drying. Yep. Uh, yep. It's very, yeah, it's a little, I'm getting a little, like, hoppy burn yeah. on the back of my okay. throat, too. Here's the thing. <sighs> but, look, body. 7.5% Se um, double IPA. Maybe with, like, tangerine mm -hmm. or something. It's Probably very, uh, there, there's spritzy carbonation in there. It's breaking it up a little bit. I'm, I'm going to go... I'll go eight, eight percent, double IPA. This is kind of like, just. No. What, what do you rate it? This comes off a very big. It's kind of boozy, and I don't know if it's just like, not big. But it's just, I don't know. I guess you get so used to certain mm -hmm. companies hiding the booze very well. Yeah. When you get, like, maybe a company that not... Oh, is, man. They're not bad. I just... Christ. I don't know. I'm, I'm coming off kind of snobby right now. So, never mind. I'm just going to shut up. Um, I think it's a 8% double IPA. Man, there's a lot of stuff in there, though. I know. I know. I, oh, <laughs> I want to get crazy and push the ABV up. Say it's like a 9 it, or something. I want to say it's a little older. It's multi. Uh, there right. is no date. No date on the bottom. Got... All right, let's open it up. What'd you let's... say? 8%? I, I, I said 8, I think, but I've, I feel like I want to push it up to 9. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, man, I just got this chalky, like, scratch. Yeah, there, there's a chalkiness to it. I wonder if there's lactose in there. No, it will be so much softer. There's definitely, it's hot burn all day. It's, like, very aggressively hot. So like, yeah, I mean, some companies. <laughs> oh. So remember, oh. like some companies just you know are better at hiding. <laughs> oh, okay. What's ABV on it? Ten. Oh, I, I, I pushed it up to nine. I, I said gonna, double. Man, I did say double. Be... Yeah, I said okay. double. I pushed it up All right, to nine. So I here's the deal. Was... I said lactose. There's definitely milk sugar. Okay. All right. So this is from the Evil Twin Brewing Company. <laughs> wow. Collab with Other Half. Okay. All right. The creme de la creme, and it's got <laughs> Other Half Sam poking his head through a hole in the wall. Broccoli holding a beer. That's Other this Half Sam. This is awesome. Uh, <laughs> And his favorite hop is Motoika, by the way, so get fuck nerds. Yeah. Uh, so this is a 10% oh, double, double dry, dry hopped, hopped. All right. triple India pale ale brewed with milk sugar, hops, galaxy, mosaic, and citrus. Oh, so the holy the trinity. Holy trinity. Um, yeah, it's, I want to say it's probably older, though. It's It comes off a little more. A little but, bit, but man, um, okay. All right. Wow. I love that. Uh, that's cool. That's, that's cool. pretty awesome. Creme de la creme. All right. I would have liked to try this, like, super fresh. Yep, yep. Wow. But I think, okay, I think we nailed, well, I, I said, I think there's lactose or something. Yeah, you called the milk sugar at the end there, yeah. I think we called the it's, citrus notes, like, yeah, it, the Galaxy Mosaic citrus, yeah. For 10%, I would say it's a little thin, now that I know the ABV. Um, I feel good about wanting to push it up to 9%, because it's like, man, it is boozy. is drinking. It is boozy. But that's, it's saturated with hops. Too. Yeah, big time. All right. <laughs> Yeah, just we get used to. I'm, I'm, so I'm like, yeah. So we get used to certain companies being able you to know, the We just understand you know, beer. And basically, I'm talking about other half when I say that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, but the other companies maybe they're doing such a good job. And I'm like, oh, well, other half Sam's. <laughs> I just open up. I see the other half. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna relinquish tastemaker title now. Not that it was ever a real thing, but it was real to me. Thanks. He's I appreciate that. Uh, this was awesome. awesome. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so glad we got to do this one. Uh, she knocked it out of the park again. Oh, you Fantastic. sneaky, you sneaky temptress, you. Fantastic. All right. Um, <sighs> guess what? 
Wow. Did you know we have an email? Mm-hmm. FLXBeerviews at gmail.com. Okay. And we have an Instagram, we do. which you can message on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what I'm trying to say to people is you could hit us up. Just link tree down below. One click takes you to everywhere you need to be. You can talk to us. You can tell us we're idiots. You can tell us we're tastemakers. You can tell us hi. Hey, I, I, you guys should do video reviews instead of just posting these pictures on Instagram. Yeah. And then you could say, you know, on Instagram, you leave a message. Boy, you guys really should, like, do a YouTube thing, you know, like, mm-hmm. like Mike said. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then on YouTube, you know, they could say, you guys you should guys start should an Instagram, Instagram. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because cool. people don't click the link tree enough. That's what I'm trying to point out. Everything's down that, there. That was supposed to stream streamline everything. Mm. This is why beer tube's dead. All right. <sighs> anyway, go. thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.